What is going on, Black Belt? It's Kevin from Black Belt MMA here to talk about UFC Fight Night Cruz versus Cheeto Vera. Now, this fight night is pretty decent card. We just came off a really amazing card last weekend. We had finishes in all the fights. It was a great card. So now we get another card, which, you know, on paper, it seems like it's not going to deliver. But if you can take my word for it, this year's fight nights have been amazing. If I'd go as far as to say that the fight nights have been better than the pay-per-views. So, without further ado, let's get us straight into this breakdown. So, first fight I want to talk to you guys about is Bruno Silva versus Gerald Merchart. Bruno Silva is coming of a decision loss to Alex Pereira. And if you guys know Alex by now, then you should know that that's, if anything, that's a win. He made a competitive. He was in the fight throughout all three rounds. So, if anything, that was a bigger win than a loss for him. But that's not all he offers. He was also coming out of a three-fight KO win streak. So the dude got skill. And he's going to get a chance to show it off in this fight. He's a striker. He has okay wrestling. We saw him be really smart against Alex Pereira and implement his grappling into the fight. However, in this fight, he's fighting a better grappler than he is. So he's going to keep the fight on the feet. That's where he has the biggest chance. And Gerald Merchardt coming off a loss but before that loss he was coming off a three fight win streak all submissions after losing to Kamzat he rebounded very nicely in his last fight he showed a ton of heart so you can never count Gerald out however this fight it's just really hard to go against Bruno Silva he's a minus 275 favorite so he's a pretty solid favorite I see him hurting Gerald Marshall early and but I don't think there will be a finish. I think I don't think he should go to the ground if he gets a knockdown. But I do think he will hurt Joe Mercer often through this fight. So I see a dominant decision by uh, Bruno Silva here. But uh, Joe Mercer, you know, if his ways to win, he has to get the fight to the ground as fast as he can. But um, I just don't see him taking him down. I think Bruno Silva defensive grappling will hold up. And I think it's just going to piece him up on the feet. So, um, yeah, we're going with Bruno Silva by dominant decision. Next up on the card, we have Nate Landroher versus David Onama. Nate is a very underrated fighter, in my opinion. He's This is for sure fight of the night. I mean, Nate Landroher, he's allergic to boring fights. The guy wants to get in there, take your head off with knees, hooks, straights, whatever he needs. But the guy just wants to finish you as fast as he can. He's always in banger fights. And I definitely see him going into another fight of the night in this fight. So he's a really good striker. He often tries to rely on his grappling sometimes. But it's his hands that do the job. So um, he's a solid underdog for going into this fight. Which surprises me. I think this fight is a lot more even than people think. Especially since we don't know a lot about David Onama yet. He's 10 and 1. He has three fights in the UFC. He's lost his debut. And then he rebound with two straight finishes. The guy's a really good striker. He has the grappling to rely on, but I just don't think he'll be using it. I think maybe Nate will go for some takedowns, but it's not like he's gonna be implementing a grappling heavy game plan going into this fight. So I don't think we'll see much grappling. But I do see this being a stand up war. I think Nate's going to definitely just try to close the distance by just blitzing his way in, which is something he does often. So besides that, I think, you know, we have, like I said, our fight of the night pick right here. So with that being said, it's hard making a pick for this one, but I'm going to go with the odds and I'm going to go with David Onama by KO. This is not going to the judges for sure. So whoever wins is by finish. And we'll go with David Onama and definitely keep an eye on this fight because this fight is just, that's just fireworks written all over it next up we have the final fight of the night and we have the main event Cheeto Vera versus Dominic Cruz the former champion versus the up and comer prospect Cheeto Vera the only man to beat Sean O'Malley um, this is a big fight man I mean I feel like this fight is possibly going to leave them one fight away from a title shot so um, there's a lot at stake here Cheeto Vera is coming off an amazing win streak. His last loss was to Jose Aldo. No shame in that. And he's coming off a dominant, very dominant performance against Rob Font. 
who was top five by the time they fought. We did see that a lot of holes that uh, Cheeto Vera has in his game, he gets hit a lot. And Ralph Fawn isn't the most powerful guy, so we didn't really see any big shots landing. But we definitely saw that he's very hittable. He's very punchable, and, you know, a lot of times that could be a big problem against Dominic Cruz. We saw that he lands big shots. He's very agile. He has a huge arsenal. I think he has the bigger arsenal in this fight. He has kicks, knees, punches. He has everything. So um, the guy just wants to do damage. He has beautiful elbows. He has upwards elbows, straight elbows. I mean, the guy just tries to hurt you with every limb in his body. So, um, you know, he's the favorite going into this fight. Not a big favorite, but he's a pretty good favorite. So um, we have Dominic Cruz, on the other hand, who's, in my opinion, the GOAT of the bantamweight division is the best to ever do it at bantamweight he has the footwork like nobody ever had in probably mma in my opinion in his prime obviously he ran into cody which you know it took multiple years multiple coaches multiple trials and errors to get a game plan which cody was able to execute to finally defeat dominic cruz but um I do not think that Cheeto has the speed or the footwork that Cody had. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's very hard to make a pick in this fight. It's a really close fight. But I have to say that I'm going to go with the underdog and I'm going to go against all the odds here because I think the community is giving, giving Cruz no chance. And I think he has more than a chance. I think he gets hurt early. He did get dropped against Pedro. And he almost got finished in the first round. But he bounced back. Also, a lot of people are saying that, oh, since this is a five-rounder, this is the advantage for Cheeto. I disagree with that. I think that the fact that this is a five-rounder is a better chance for Cruz to win. Cruz has the championship mentality. He's been five rounds for more than half of his career. So I think the guy can, you know, take a shot and bounce back recover and you know comfortably you know win the fight i think we will see a 49 46 scorecard being read i don't see a finish happening in this fight so um yeah those are my picks for today guys we have bruno silva by dominant decision david onama by ko and dominic cruz by decision so with unfortunately didn't make picks for last week's card which was a huge mistake i regret that so much because the fight night turned out to be top three fight nights in this year so um yeah it was amazing out of fights last week and if you missed it make sure to go check those fights out it was a great card as a whole and um yeah make sure to like subscribe comment any fights that you guys think i missed and want me to do a breakdown on and see you guys next week